Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Um, this week in Melbourne was Oz Comic Con, a two day event for us. Um, it was a very interesting event considering we're coming back out of lockdown. So it was great to be out at an event again and be able to hunt for some books and obviously catch up with friends and stalls that you haven't got a chance to see in a while. Um, at a con, my first thing is always searching for books and then doing signatures, commissions and everything else after that. So um, today, just going to do a quick video showing the books that I picked up from the five sellers that we had at this show. So we had um, Back Issue Comics with Bruce. We had Tim from Harry's Comics. We had John and James from Wiz Pop Culture. And two new sellers. Well, one completely new seller in the mobile market. And a young upcoming seller with Seb's Comics. And then we had James Penny from... Penny's House of Awesomeness, which is a Canberra-based shop. Um, so let's get into these books. Okay, first up I have The Incredible Hulk and Superman, which is just a, a battle one-off to see who would win out of two. I haven't read it yet, so I can't tell you who will win. Uh, next up, we just have some gap fillers for my Defenders run. So we have 110, Defenders 106, and Defenders 63, which brings me down to about four or five books to have the first 125 of the Defenders run before it changes into the new Defenders. Uh, next up after that, we have the Flash 140, which is the first appearance of Heatwave. Next up we have Flash 350, which is the final issue in the Flash Volume 1. Okay, next up we have Secret Wars number one. As I said in the previous video, I've been collecting all the Secret Wars number one variants. And I had assumed that I did have the original number one. But the number one I did have was a Dynamic Forces variant. So I was able to get my hands on the original. Um, this book is the first appearance of the Beyonder as a light and voice in the background and the first Marvel wide crossover. So as you can see from the covers, all the teams are present and big characters from across the Marvel Universe. Uh, next up, we have X-Men number four which is the first appearance of Omega Red and just some awesome art and great covers in this X-Men run. Uh, next up we have X-Force number 11, which is the first team appearance of Weapon Prime and the second appearance of the real Domino. Uh, now we're getting into some older books. So we have the Avengers 43, which is the first appearance of the Red Guardian. And Avengers 227, which is the second appearance of Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau. And it's the episode, well, the issue, sorry, where she joins the Avengers and becomes the first black female Avenger. Sticking with some old books, 
Next up we have Justice League of America number 29 which is the first team appearance of the Crime Syndicate and the first appearance of Ultraman, Owlman, Powering, Superwoman and Johnny Quick 2 and it's the first mention of Voltong if I'm saying that right, the first lantern. Uh, next up we have She-Hulk book. This is another series I'm collecting. And it's very hard to find Savage She-Hulk books around. So I have number 9. Which is the first appearance of Ultima. Next up we have X-Force number eight which is the first appearance of domino and the origin of cable now going into possibly one of the oldest books i'm going to have in my collection and a book that i never really was looking for and never really thought i would own but we have a very low grade avengers Number two, it has the three coupons cut out in the middle, but it doesn't affect the story. And this book is the second appearance of the Avengers. It's the issue where Hulk leaves the Avengers. It has the first space phantom and introduces the Avengers mansion. Next up, we have a Tales to Astonish 61, which is the first appearance of Major Glenn Talbot. Uh, these next few books don't really have any significance, but I do like the Nick Fury Agents of, Field, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. series, and it's just a book that I'm collecting so we have number 10 in that run we have number 11 and we also have number 16 which is a cool cover with some Hydra agents all over it next up we have a Justice Society of America number one it's not a big key book, but it is the first appearance of Jesse Chambers, who later on becomes Jesse Quick and Liberty Bell. I'm surprised this book isn't worth more than it is. I was very lucky to pick it up for $5. Another book that seems to be going up in price but hasn't jumped dramatically lately is the fury of firestorm this book is a minor key as well it's the first appearance of the third killer frost okay going back to some older books so we have a flash 250 which is the first appearance of the golden glider which is Captain Cold's sister. We have a Wonder Woman number nine, which is the first appearance of the third cheater. Um, these last few books are possibly the bigger books that I got this weekend. So we have an amazing Spider-Man Original Sin number four, which is the first full appearance of Silk. Next up, we have an Avengers 23, which is the first appearance of Ravona Rainslayer, which is a love interest to Kang the Conqueror. Uh, this next book I seen posted by the seller as some of the books he was bringing to the convention and I really wanted the book so my first stop was always going to be 
to that seller's table, which was Penny's House of Awesomeness. I've visited their store before in Canberra and picked up a fair few of the X-Men books I needed for my run. And it's always easy, hassle-free to deal with them. And they're very knowledgeable and have a lot of books. And when I seen them on the list coming down to Melbourne, I just had to go check out their shop. So this is possibly the biggest book I got this weekend and one of the biggest books in my collection. So I have a Flash 139, which is the first appearance of Professor Zoom, Ebod Thorne, who is the reverse Flash. And it is a very... Very nice book. And a happy-go-lucky accident at the same time while I was looking through the stall. I was able to pick up this last book. Which is a slabbed Spider-Man 252. Which is obviously the first appearance of Spider-Man in his black suit. And it's lucky enough to be a signed book, CGC verified of Jim Shooter, who was the editor-in-chief of the book when it was released. Um, that's all for the books that I picked up at the show. Um, I did pick up some other little knickknacks and get some commissions, which will be shown in a separate video. Um, thanks for watching, um, if there was anything you thought was cool, let me know in the comments, if you like this video, click the like and subscribe button, and thanks for watching again guys.